Show me your husband just left here. And why are you crying? Huh? Oh, baby. Come, 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 sit down. Sit down. That's the problem. I think she'll be in a better position to explain. My baby, talk to mommy. What's wrong? Hey, darling. I brought you some food. A special leave for you. That is just mom. <sighs> Your father is back. And I I told him everything that you told me. He is angry. Very angry. I wasn't expecting that. I thought he would ask me to go back. He's your father. You don't expect him to endanger the lives of two generations, do you? Hmm? So, you haven't even told me, girl or boy. I don't know, Mom. I haven't been going for Antony to. What? Wait, all this has been going on and you haven't told me anything about it? I told you, Mom. Think you're doing? The floor is cold. So? Okay, can I please sleep on the bed, even if it's just for tonight? Oh, really? Alright, come on. Thank you. Come on, will you get your smelly body out of my bed? If you don't care about me, at least have mercy on your poor child. <laughs> the last time I checked, the child wasn't complaining about being cold. But I am. Then deal with it. Okay, can you, can, you, can you please give me the duvet? Let me spread on the floor.
Ireti. Yeah. Babes, mm. don't tell me you are cooking already. It's barely 8 a.m. <laughs> so, I sort of went viral yesterday on Twitter, and since then, I've had insane others. Oh, <laughs> I'm so happy for you. you. You don't know how elated this makes me feel, being able to chase my dreams. Mm. See, if Jesus Christ should come today, today, I have no regrets whatsoever. Babes, 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 I beg, I beg. <laughs> calm down, please, just calm down. Mm. Ah. I haven't gotten married yet. Mm -hmm. I don't have kids. I haven't visited all the countries in the world. So please, let's just chill in heaven for now, I beg. Okay, I'm here, you. <laughs> Joma, what is the meaning of this? So I will go to work late today because of your sluggish nature? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm almost done, please. Sorry for your pathetic life. Please, I could not sleep last night. That is why I woke up late. Well, I'm almost done, please. And I'm supposed to be bothered about that. Please get done with this and get out of my sight. In fact, leave it. Get out. Get out. Give me that. Thank you for helping me. Do that again and I will show you that every bad behavior has its consequences. Cute. Um, please, please. What, what about this money for food? You know you really have guts. So after wasting my time, you still have the nerve to open that hole on your face you come out to ask for money. I, I can't stay hungry due to my condition. Then drink, Gary. There is Gary in the house. But there is no soap. Take it like that. There is no milk or sugar. Do you think this is your father's house where you order people around? Take it whichever way you deem it fit. Are you waiting for me to tell you to open the gate? Light is shining, but I still feel darkness around me. My walls are falling down, down, down. Just like a wrecked sheep Pieces lay down deep in the ocean My heart broken into pieces They were torn shred on shred Until there was none left for me I had a choice to make but you took away that one thing that would have saved me I had a path to take You could have led me through But you choose to shut my door I just don't understand The whole thing confuses me And you've just seen me too Imagine me that stays at home all day do you know what my eyes have seen? I don't understand why he treats her like that. For crying out loud, she's pregnant. I don't understand it either. Maybe we should talk to her. I know says I've not tried. Three times now, each time she just hurries up like I'm going to bite her off or something. Does it beat her too? Mm, I don't know. But I've never heard her scream except for when she's praying. Mm. So I don't think he does. No. No. 
with that aggressive behavior he just exhibited, we can never trust him. Good morning, ma. Good morning. Is that you on his way? Yes, ma. Oh, darling, how are you? I'm fine, darling. You're here? Yes, I am. Good. So, how was your night session yesterday? Our God is good. Today's prison outreach is going to be monumental. Okay, okay yes. And uh, we are going to experience something we've never experienced before. I wish I could join you. Oh, not today. You'll be hosting Pastor Ekanem's wife, remember? Yes, I do. Good. That reminds me. You must be of good behavior, okay? You must impress her. I will. I intend to invite her husband to our end of year crusade. Mm. Okay. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your servants have come before you at this hour. We pray that you make our way smooth. Protect us at all times. Be with us wherever we go. Hello, Mom. How are you doing, my princess? I'm fine, Mom. How about Desmond? He's fine. He already left for church. Oh, yes. He's part of those joining your father for the outreach program today. Yes, Mom. Mm. So tell me, how are you doing? How's the baby? I hope you're taking your medications and eating well. I'm eating healthy. That's my girl. Um, Mommy, please, are you home? Can I come visit? Sure, ma. It's barely four months that you got married and yet you have refused to get used to your husband's house. Mm? Listen, I know your house is small compared to the beautiful house you grew up in. But God loves our humble beginnings. When your father and I got married, we were living in a small apartment. 
but God blessed us and honored us with beautiful houses across the world and beautiful churches. Mommy, I, I, I just miss your food. Nothing else. <sighs> All right. I'll send a driver to send you some food, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. Take me away, take me away from this pain and sorrow. Take me away, take me away from this misery. Yeah. Take me away, take me away. Pain and Everybody felt the impact of the Holy Spirit. Glory to God. He alone deserves the praises. Yes, <laughs> yes. And you know what? Having a firebrand son-in-law like you, as far as I'm concerned, was predestined by God. Well, quite a great things were quite bumpy in the beginning, but you've gone ahead to surmount those obstacles. Okay. You've also gone ahead to prove that you can be diligent uh, to this family. And when I mean family, I'm in the church. I'll always do my best, sir. Good. Uh, that reminds me, has my wife sent you and Chema your monthly allowance? Is there anything the matter? No, I'm fine, sir. Come on, Desmond. Feel free to confide in me, either in my capacity as your pastor or as your father-in-law. What is it? I am really struggling. We are really struggling. Choma and I. I don't get it. Why don't you use your mouth to profess evil? The tongue is a very strong tool. Don't you know that? In spite of the 150,000 Naira monthly allowance we send to you and the salary the church pays you as a deacon, you say you're struggling? Sir, it, it's really been hard. Seriously. Sir, being with Choma now that she's pregnant is something else. Um, could you believe that the other day she made me spend 25,000 Naira? or doing weird, weird things at the restaurant. <laughs> now I get it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's what. Well, I'm not surprised. Her mother behaved the same way when she was pregnant with Joma, having different food cravings, you know. She said things are difficult, and I begin to wonder how. In spite of the 150,000 Naira monthly we send to you and the money the church pays you as a deacon, you're still complaining? Huh? Excuse me. Oh, Mommy Gio. How are you? Uh, uh, the, yes, the program went well. Glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Uh, Desmond, he's, 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 he's here with me. He's here with me. Okay, you want him to come over to the house? I just dropped him off where he will board his vehicle. Okay, I will tell him. My wife. She wants you to come over to the house so that you pick up uh, food for your wife. 
So you see what I was saying. Her craving for food these days is much. As expected, she's a pregnant woman. Well, I think I know what to do. I will ramp up the money to 250,000 Naira. Hmm. I think that will go a long way. Sir. Thank you so much, sir. You don't need to thank me. Thank you, sir. Oh, glory to God. <laughs> I appreciate, sir. I appreciate. So you drive home, pick up the food, and, you know, take it to your wife. All right, no problem. My sir. regards to her. Oh, no, she will hear, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Next time you lock me outside like this, you see what I will do to you. Is that the food from my mother? Ian, what's wrong with you? Isn't it that useless neighbors of ours? What happened? Babe, you needed to see the way he, he spoke to his wife. Simply because she delayed in opening the door for him. Mm -hmm. I mean, in such a belittling manner. See, it's a constant thing. That's the way he treats her. She washes his car, clothes, cleans the house. Sometimes I begin to wonder if she's his wife or his slave. Oh my God. No wonder she's always looking unkept. Babe, we need to do something. Yes, now. We need to do something. We can't just sit back and watch a young woman of our age go through such. Especially with her pregnant state. You're right. We need to do something. Yes. But the question is, where do we start from? We barely even know them. And they just moved in less than three months ago. She hasn't even spoken to me except for occasional greetings. I don't know. I sincerely don't know. I think we should confront him. No, no, no. I don't think so. See? In most domestic violence cases, the man becomes even more violent to his victim after being confronted. What she needs is help. Good help. So where do you suggest we start? By being her friend, you know, trying to talk to her, be nice. It will go a long way.
why are you looking at me like that? I want to just say what you have in your mind because obviously you have a lot in your mind, so speak up. You left me with nothing to eat in this house all day. And that was why you called your mom to tell her I was starving you? I didn't say anything like that. I only told her I missed her cooking and that's the truth. Mm. Anyways, there's no problem. I mean, this food and the leftover and the fridge, they all belong to me now. Why are you doing this? What did I ever do to you? I am pregnant for Christ's oh, sake. please. We all should run away for you because you're pregnant. <laughs> are you the first person to get pregnant in the world? What you're doing is unfair. My parents send money and you use it all for yourself. My car you've also taken for yourself. You forced me to sleep on the floor in a house my parents paid oh, for. Oh, please. Your parents this, your parents that. So why don't you marry them? You are so heartless. You're pushing me. And if you don't stop, if you don't stop, I'll be forced to bounce back. But you know what? I'm actually a believer. And I don't hate women. But don't push your luck. This man is asking for more money. Why does it seem as if we're paying this guy to get married to our daughter? It is because your daughter ruined everything. But I don't want to dwell on that. Transfer additional hundred thousand naira to them this month. Isn't an additional hundred thousand naira a bit too much for them? We've been neighbors for a while now, but we've not exactly related. My name is Iriti. I am Chioma. Hmm. Lovely name. <laughs> it's a common name. Half of the evil girls in this world, they are Chioma. Yeah, that's true. My friend's middle name is actually Chioma. Your friend? Mm -hmm. Oh, the one that skips late night? <laughs> she's Igbo? Yes, yeah, she's Igbo and she doesn't keep late nights. She's actually a medical doctor, so sometimes her shift runs late into the night. Wow. Um, she doesn't look or dress like a doctor. <laughs> That's why it's not good to judge a book by its cover. Same applies to humans. <clears throat> I'm sorry. It's just that my husband told me you girls must be Ron's girls. <laughs> no, we're not. My apologies for my outrageous assumption. It's all right. <laughs> nice to meet you. Same here. You're very hardworking, I must say. <laughs> Thank you. Chioma! Um, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm coming! Okay. 
Just take it easy, okay? okay? I have to go, yes. I'm I'm coming! You called. Who were you talking to outside? Oh, it's the neighbor. Have I not told you that you're not allowed to have friends? But I'm, I'm always alone in the house. The least I can do is be called here with... I don't want you ever see you talk with any of them. Why? Questioning me? Sorry. I'm sorry, please. I thought as much. Obviously, you're beginning to grow wings. And I promise you, I'm going to clip them. I am not done with you yet. What's this stench I'm perceiving? Have you had your bath today? Uh, I, I, I am. Get out! Out! <laughs> So much. It's Lydia you should be thinking. She's the only one that can't. Oh. Is there a problem? Choma, it was nice meeting you. We're not trying to be nosy neighbor, but we can't help but notice the way your husband treats you. Especially with your condition. Thank you so much. I, I have to. Um, I, I I just I have some. I have to go now. This is going to be harder than we thought. <laughs> Hello, good morning, ma'am. I'm doing fine, ma'am. Oh, dad doing wonderfully well. Oh, yes, he was actually received with thanks. I will, ma'am. I will. I will. This thing that is just occupying space everywhere. Oh my god. Oh. Thank you. 
Uh, babe, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't have the money then, but I have it now. But I said I'm sorry, all right? Okay, you know what? To tell you how serious I am, I'm going to send you 100K now. Then when we see, I'll give you more. How about that? Okay, I'll do it right away. But you know, I've really missed you. Yeah, I have. <laughs> All right, no problems. All right. So, this is the reason you never drop money for food. Because you spend it on your whores. Watch it. She's not a whore. Have you no shame? No remorse? You sit in front of me, your wife, and you defend your mistress? At least she wasn't imposed on me, unlike some people. I chose out of my own free will. I wasn't imposed on you. If you weren't responsible for the pregnancy, no one would have forced us to get married. Oh, you think I am happy to be married to you? You are the devil's incarnate. How dare you call me such vile name? How dare you? Choma, you want to know what the devil's incarnate is like? I will make this house too hot to contain both of us. Choma, I will break you. I will make your life so miserable that you will beg to get out of it, but there will be no way out for you. This rebel, Take me away, take me away from this pain and sorrow. Take me away, take me away. Hey, don't understand, sir. I thought we were supposed to meet someone on top. Why did you bring me to your house? Because this is my house. What about your wife? What about her? Who are you? And why are you questioning my guest? You come home at this time of the night with a strange woman and you expect me not to ask questions? Sweetheart, let's go upstairs. That's what I'm talking to you! What do you think you're doing? Bringing a strange woman into our home? Listen, Desmond. I have tolerated so many rubbish from you. But you said this? No way. Send your whore out of our house this minute. Oh, what? Oh, I will sing out loud to my parents about how nasty you've treated me since we got married. I am your husband. And I will treat you whichever way I deem fit. Nobody tells your father how he should treat your mother. And don't even for once think that calling your father is going to change anything. Your father loves his reputation so much. Yes. Let's see how that goes. And what do you think you're doing? Calling my mother to tell her to cut off sending you any allowance. After all, you stabbed me everything. Despite the money you sent me. Every month. Hello, Mom. Ah! Let me see how you're going to call them again. I'm just like a wrecked sheep. Pieces lay down deep in the ocean. My heart broken down to pieces. They were torn shred and shred. Until there was none left for me. I had a choice to make. But you took away that one thing that would have saved me I had 
harder path to take You could have let me through But you choose to shut my door I wish I could rewind it Why this? Why me? Answer me God, why me? Did I not save you enough? Why have you turned my life into one leading with agony? Why Lord? This isn't what I asked for. I prayed for a good man, a God-fearing man. One who will love me like Christ loved the church. pregnant to have to sleep on the floor. Yes. But she's pregnant, won't she catch cold? <laughs> Nina, I don't understand. Are you now advocating for her? I'm so sorry. All I wanted was money for my mother's treatment. I never knew I was coming home to be with a man who is so inhuman to his pregnant wife. Mina, I think it's time for you to leave. <sighs> you should be ashamed of yourself, treating a woman carrying your child this way. I brought you here to satisfy me and not to lecture me. <sighs> Such a scumbag. Now get out. I don't even know why you're still with him. You deserve better. Get out! Lose my number and don't ever call me again. Oh, please get out. You see? When I tell you you are cursed, you look at me in a very strange way. Now you've made me lose that girl. She's way better in bed than you will ever be. Can I have my SIM card? Oh, that. I flushed it down the toilet. You did what? You heard me right. My mother calls me every two days and if she doesn't hear from me, she will drive down here and I promise you Desmond, I won't hesitate to tell her everything. The thing you tried so hard to prevent by destroying my phone will still come to light. Just like your girlfriend said, I deserve better, and I have just realized it. Yes, uh, Chuma and I, we are here waiting for the rest of the choir members. Yes. <laughs> okay, Daddy, I've heard you. <laughs> All right, bye. Hi. That is girl. <laughs> Chioma, mm -hmm. are you going for aunt's wedding next week? Hmm. No, I'd really love to, but mom has administration in Port Harcourt and she insists I must go with her. Tell her you can't go now. Uh-uh. Ashley, you are talking like you don't know my parents. <sighs> okay, let's say I managed to convince mom. Mm -hmm. What about that? You know, you would definitely ask me if Anne's wedding is more important than propagating the gospel of Christ. I, I don't envy you at all. Being a pastor's daughter is not easy. It's not as bad as you're making it. What are you saying? You, you literally attended a private university just because they want to monitor all your movements. They even monitor your social media handles, as if you're a 12-year-old girl. Come on. I'm not complaining, am I? Look, I just feel they want what's best for me. 
I think you, you need to live for yourself and not for them. You are a 23-year-old girl and you don't even have a boyfriend. I am waiting for a serious one. Oh, indeed. I'm serious. I'm very serious. I've been praying about it. That God sends me a handsome, caring, mm -hmm. kind, and most especially, a God-fearing man. Those are the qualities to look out for in a good guy. I join my faith with yours and I pray that God gives you such a man. Amen. <laughs> Please, amen. amen. You see why you're my best friend. <laughs> Thank Come you. Here. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. This people should come home. They should I'm, come I'm in. Tired. You, I'm tired. I'm tired. You tell us four o'clock is four o'clock. Ah. <laughs> As well. I'm telling you. <laughs> Good morning, ma'am. That's one. Thank God you're here. I've been trying to reach Yoma since yesterday and her number hasn't been reachable. I also called you and you did not pick up your phone. I'm sorry about that. I was actually supposed to get back to you. But she insisted I come see you in person. Oh, sit down. Thank you, ma'am. <coughs> uh, can I offer you some coffee or tea? I don't think that would be necessary. I won't be staying long. Okay, that's fine. Um, the truth is, Choma's phone fell into the water. Oh my god, really? Yes, you know, she's been acting sort of clumsy of recent. Probably the pregnancy hormones. Hmm. I have a spare phone. The old one I was using before Bishop got me a new one. Um, I'll give it to you so you can give it to her. Um, ma'am, I don't think that would be necessary because this is the third phone she has damaged in one month. Jesus Christ, what sort of hormones are those? And she said she doesn't want to use phones anymore. That was why she sent me to come meet with you in person. That's strange. Why wouldn't she want to use a phone anymore? How does she expect me to communicate with her? <laughs> I'm still here, ma'am. You can always reach out through me. True. I should come visit you one of these days. I've just been busy with, you know, ministry work. It's not easy. I understand. Okay, you can always come whenever you're free. Sure. Let us pray. All right, ma'am. I'll go and get someone, okay? Please help me. Chuma, are you okay? What's going on? Why were you locked in your own house? You know what? Let's go inside. I can't go inside. It's stuffy. Um, that's one spread insecticide. You mean you were stuck in there inhaling chemicals? Are you okay? Is the baby okay? I can't believe this. How would your husband lock you inside and spray insecticide? Does he want to kill you? I really thought I could stay. I really thought I could end you. I can't. I can't. I don't think you should either. Okay, do you have somewhere else that you can go to? Uh, madam, huh? no offense, uh, I don't finish. May pay me mark on the worker. Yeah, come and take your money. Let's go. Sorry. So just take it easy. Don't be a big, wicked man. Sorry. <coughs>
Joma. Joma. Hey darling, I brought you some food. Especially for you. It's delicious, Mom. <sighs> Your father is back. And I I told him everything that you told me. He is angry. Very angry. I wasn't expecting that. I thought he would ask me to go back. He's your father. You don't expect him to endanger the lives of two generations, do you? Hmm? So, you haven't even told me, girl or boy? I don't know, Mom. I haven't been going for Antonito. What? Wait, all this has been going on and you haven't told me anything about it? I told you, Mom. Hello, my darling. How are you? What happened? Shama, you guys have only been married for a few weeks. Listen, marriage is not easy. It comes with these hurdles. Then make him want you. Cook for him, care for him, seduce him. I am listening. You are saying what shouldn't be said. You cannot leave that marriage. That will be over your father's dead body. So chin up and make your marriage work. Goodbye. I'm sorry. I decided to chin up. 
can't tolerate so as to make him want me. But it only made matters worse. He graduated from calling me names to forcing me to sleep on the floor. After a while, he started stabbing me. The deal breaker was when he brought another woman into our house and made me sleep outside our room. That boy is a very wicked boy. I have always told your father that I do not like that boy. It's alright. I'm not going back there, Mom. Never. You know divorce is not an option. Even God will understand that this is the only way out in this situation. Yeah, drink up. Like I said, next week I will set up a Bible class, okay, where people will come around. That's important because the ministry has to. Good evening, sir. Yes. Good evening. Everything is all right with your daughter. Oh, she's fine. She's fine. We were saying something. Uh, uh, Bishop, sir. Your daughter has been here for a while now. And I thought something is wrong. Not just you, Brother Mark. A lot of people in the church are wondering what our dear Choma is doing in, the, in her father's house when her husband lives in the same city. Uh, brothers, let us pray. Yes, my Lord Bishop. <clears throat> Before we pray, um, I think I will join the Bible class by next week. Uh, the words from your mouth, I mean, the wise counsel from your mouth, I mean, it's really uplifting. Good. I'm impressed. I'm happy to hear that. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the of days, we have come before you at this point. We pray that you sow a new seed in our hearts. Let it Choma, you're not going to church with us. Yes, people are beginning to talk. They are asking questions. They want to know why you now live with us. People want to know why you now attend church services with us instead of with your husband. But, but... Shut up. I'm not done talking. They want to know if your four months old marriage has crashed. And you know what? We cannot afford to proffer answers to such questions, given our personality. Henceforth, you will not attend church services with us. We cannot afford to fill those rumors. D Daddy, all my life you never allowed me miss a Sunday service. Not even on days when I was sick. Now you are telling me to stay at home because of concerns about what people will say? I can't believe this. That is it. There lies your problem. There lies the sole reason your marriage has refused to work. It's because of that thing. That thing you call a mouth. I've always taught you to bridle your tongue. I've always taught you to watch your tongue. Or oh, isn't that what the Bible admonishes in James chapter 3 verse 5? That the tongue is little, yet it can cause great harm. It's even compared to a small fire that can set an entire forest ablaze. Oh, don't you read your Bible? Listen to me. 
you brought this upon yourself. And you must bear the consequences alone. We forced you to marry him for a reason. And that reason is that you don't bring disgrace to this family. A family I painstakingly built over the course of two decades. And Choma, I will not sit and watch you destroy what I suffered to build. It will never happen. Your mother compelled me to allow you to stay here for a month. I think that period of grace is over. The time has come for you to return to your husband. I know I'm young and naive. I brought this on me. You could have stopped this for me. But you chose your reputation over my life. What kind of a father gives this child a stone mm, instead of bread? Oh, I owe What kind of a father gives this child a snake? Sir, it's the devil's work. Well, that's his major preoccupation. To steal, kill, and to destroy. But as children of God, we must not allow him achieve his purpose. I'm deeply sorry, sir. I'm truly sorry for everything, sir. I am. It, it, it's just that trauma doesn't help matters at all. She practically does nothing in the house. I'll do the cooking. I'll do the washing. I'll even wash her on the waist too. All she does is sit in front of the television all day. And when I complain, she, she starts telling me that the, the house and everything in it is the father's man. So could you believe that? She's, she has slapped me not once, not twice. It's simply because I corrected her over something she did. It's not fair now. It's not fair. So I, I am human too. And at times... Cheryl never allows anybody to wash her underwear. Even for when she was little. She even refused for the maids to wash her underwear. So I really find it hard to believe what you're saying this morning. Ma, with all due respect, you've not been the one living with us. Okay? I've been the one living with her, especially this pregnancy period. Ma, don't they say that pregnancy changes women? You're absolutely correct. You're right. Yeah, I love my wife. I love her so much. And that's why I feel so heartbroken. God in heaven knows my heart. God knows my heart. And he sees it all. He is clearly lying. That is immaterial at the moment. The young man has shown that he is remorseful. He showed genuine remorse over what happened. And he has rededicated himself to Christ. And my Bible says that if a man be in Christ, all things are passed away. I'm not in support of this. Shama stays here. You're not serious. Stays where? In my house? You know that's not possible. Wait. So you choose to endanger your daughter's life because of your pristine reputation instead of your daughter's No, safety? stop. Stop, Evelyn. You're getting me irritated. What is your problem? Two decades. It took me two decades to build a formidable ministry. I toiled day and night. I worked so hard. And today I own one of the largest congregations in the East. With over 46 branches nationwide. Therefore, I will not allow your stubbornness or your daughter's lack of perseverance and tolerance to destroy what I suffered to build. It's not going to happen. What do you think marriage is all about? Marriage is for life. It is for better, for worse. And that was why I stood by you. I held on to you. Despite all the pressure mounted on me by my family to get another wife who will bear me a son. Marriage is all about perseverance. You have to stand by each other. Now you go in there. Talk to your daughter. Let her pack her things and leave this house. Her husband is waiting outside. What kind of a father gives this child a stone? Mm, instead of bread. Oh, I, I, I. Shama, 
You need to be strong and courageous. No one has it easy. But at the end of the day, we are guaranteed to come out victorious. Am I such a shame, Mom? Such a disgrace that you and Daddy prefer I live with a man who abused me. Who stole my innocence. Who has treated me like a slave since the first day I stepped my foot into his house. Shoma, I taught you well. I taught you to be strong. I taught you to have grit. And most importantly, I taught you about God. There's nothing too difficult for him. Marriages aren't easy. We fight our battles at the dead of the night. With our knees on the ground and our voices raised high. As we cry unto our sucker. I told you I haven't been praying, Mom. Father, King of glory, I commit my home, I commit my husband, my unborn child into your own hands, O oh Lord. Father, no evil shall be for us. Father, may, may you protect us, O oh Lord. Guide and protect us in our going out and our coming in, O oh Lord. Father, I ask for peace, O oh Lord. I ask that peace shall reign in this family. Father, King of glory, bestow us peace in this home, O oh Lord. Father, King of glory, touch the heart of my husband. Touch him so that he shall be a changed man. In the uh, why, why don't you just... Allow me sleep. Please. I'm sorry. Just I'm get, sorry. Get, get out. Get out. I'll continue in the living room. Just, just do whatever thing you want to do. It's not like you see God is going to listen to a prayer coming from a cursed person like you. The light is shining. Shining, 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 shining. But I still feel darkness around me my walls are falling down 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 so i stopped praying i mean what is the essence of praying about something that refuses to be solved <laughs> pray for someone who refuses to change you shouldn't have stopped praying the Bible says in Israel 8.23, we fasted and petitioned our God about this, and he answered our prayers. You have to go back home. Mm. Mommy, please, I don't want to go back. Please. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 16, 14, Be humble and be gentle. Be patient. Bear one another in love. What do you want to do about this baby you're carrying? Do you want this baby to be born out of redlock? Do you want this baby to be born without a father figure? Do you want to be a single mother and let society shame and stigmatize you? And this is what is best for you. Come. I hope you're well, okay? Can't you mind your
can I get you? We don't have much, but at least there is water. I'm okay. Please, have a seat. <laughs> Iriti is not happy with you. She wouldn't even let me come see you. I understand her. But it's not like I have a choice. Choma, you have a choice. You can walk away from this abusive marriage and never return again. You don't understand. You can't understand. They won't let me. They will never let me. I am stuck in this forever. Who are they? My parents. Your parents? Why? I mean, how is this even possible? I was raised in a very religious home. My parents taught me to believe in what is right or wrong. There is no in-between, no mistake. I trusted this month. I believed he genuinely cared for me. Well, that was the biggest mistake of my life. Now my parents are hell-bent on making me bear the consequences. Choma. Choma, don't let them stop you. You can leave. And become a divorcee? A disgrace? Being divorced is not a disgrace. It simply means you're trying to stay alive. Just know what my mom says, and not what the Bible says too. Ephesians 5.25 says, Husbands, love your wives like Christ loved the church, and he gave himself for her. Yeah, I read the Bible too. Chama, listen. Desmond doesn't even like you as a friend. How much more loving you as Christ loved the church? Let marriage be held in honor amongst all. Let the marriage bed be undefiled. For God will judge the sexually immoral and the adulterous. Hebrews 13, 4. Choma, I have seen your husband with countless women. He goes to the extent of bringing them into your marital home. He defiled your marriage bed. He doesn't even respect the sanctity of your union. <laughs> My mom is an evangelist. And one thing she taught me is that we should read and understand the scriptures for ourselves and not allow others to impose their shallow thinking upon us. Please. Take me away. Take me away from this pain and sorrow. Take me away. Take me away from this misery. Hey.
What did you see? He came home with another woman. Goodness. I don't understand. Why did she return? What made her return? And to think that he almost killed her. Who comes back to an abusive marriage after leaving? I've seen so many cases like this. I mean, they tend to be afraid of what society will say about them. Yes, yeah, scared of being a single mother or having the tag of a divorcee hanging around their neck. So they end up returning to their abusive marriage. But then that happens to be the worst mistake they could ever make because most of them do not make it out alive. I've not spoken to her since she returned. I'm so mad at her for coming back. Babes, if you don't talk to her, how would you know her reason for returning? Huh? Anyway, I'm off work tomorrow. So if you don't mind, we could talk to her together. That won't be a bad idea. Yeah. Marriage Wahala. <laughs> I'm just like a wrecked sheep Pieces lay down deep in the ocean My heart broken into pieces They were torn shred on shred Until there was none left for me I had a choice to make but you took away that one thing that would have saved me I had a part to take You could have led me through But you choose to shut my door I wish I could rewind it I wish I could turn back the hand of time I wish I can rewind What is the meaning of this nonsense? Didn't you say you've changed? You're supposed to be sleeping. It's already late. <laughs> you know, for a minute, just a little minute, I thought you could actually change. But like they say, a leopard cannot change its spot. Don't insult me, Joma. Don't! I've been trying to tolerate you ever since your parents pushed you back to me the second time. As far as I'm concerned, we are nothing but flatmates. <laughs> well, you can choose to sleep with half the women in this town. But please, do it outside. Don't bring your prostitutes to my house. Desmond! Like, am I the one your wife is referring to as a prostitute? If the shoe fits, then wear it. Desmond, tell your wife never to insult me. Okay. I'll be in hotel I'm saying my head no correct. I, I know. I know. There's okay. more street girl I be now. I know. Uh-uh. Yeah. Just, just, just calm down, okay? Just calm down. See, I, see. I no do again. I beg give me my money, make I dey go. I'm I no fit. I beg give me my money. Just, just, just calm down, okay? Calm down how? Pay me my money, pay me my money, see, I beg. She, I, I no she, day listen, she has again. she has mental issue. All this thing she's that one no concern me. Pay me my money. But, but we're not done yet now. Eh? Wait. This one we we'll do on top of this place. Never do you so. I can miss it something. I beg. Pay me my money. Pay me my money. You know one see the other so, side of no, me. Oh. Let's just finish it up. Eh? You see what you've cost. Now she has left. Choma. I am talking to you. 
Or have you suddenly gone deaf and dumb? Where do you think you're going to? I am talking to you! Leave my hand this minute! Leave me, you rapist! How dare you call me that? It is what you are. A rapist. <laughs> That man, I will do worse than that. I told you, I will frustrate your house, your, your, your life in this house. Shameless human being. You see what I'll do to you in this house. What happened to her? I had a dream that that we were burying her. Oh, God forbid. God forbid. That's not possible. Let me call her. Oh? Yeah, it's possible. It's past midnight. She must be fast asleep by now. You have to wait until morning for you to call her. Okay? Get back to sleep. It's okay. Get back to sleep. Just shut your eyes and sleep, okay? And then I heard this strong sound like a bang. Hey, who we locked it door? Yes, now I did. I even checked it before going inside. Everything seems fine. There's no noise from outside. Yes. I have this strong urge. I have this urge to go outside. Are you insane? It's very late and unsafe to go out at this time. Go out and check what is what is happening. Mm -hmm. You started with all these visions that we used to see. It's it's late. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. Okay, it's okay. Okay, come let's go inside.
Excuse me, not me. Daddy said he had an emergency call from Brother Mimi. Okay, where are you? Okay, that's fine. Um, I've been calling Shoma since morning and she hasn't picked up, so I'm going to her house right now. You're here. Desmond, are you okay? Yes, welcome, ma. You left your door open. You and Chema need to be more careful. I remember that, ma'am. <laughs> so where's Chema? Uh, Don't tell me she's still sleeping. It's past 11. Um, she went out. Desmond. Don't tell me you are still sending her to the market. She's seven months pregnant. <laughs> Actually, she didn't go to the market. She went to see one of her friends. Which of her friends? Um, what's this girl's name? Ashley. Yes, she went to see Ashley. Hmm. I see. I had a bad dream about her last night. I wanted to pray with her. Okay. Why is your phone not going through? 
<laughs> you know, Chomana, you know how she is with phones. Her phone went bad again. All right. I'll wait for her. Get me some water to drink. <sighs> no problem, ma'am. I'll be right back. Okay. And the amniotic sac suffocated your baby. <laughs> By the time we try to open you, she's gone. I'm sorry. Eh? We'll have to keep you here for some few days because you lost a lot of blood. Excuse me. <laughs> It's all my fault. I should have protected her. I should have returned to the monster. I should have protected my baby. I met this month in church. I had just graduated from school and I was at home awaiting service. So I decided to also join the choir department. So Sister Blossom here will lead the ministration. Are we not excited about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, so we're going to be ministering my worship. Do we all know the song? Yes. Okay, so talk to him. I will always worship you as long as I am breathing. I will always worship you.
today's rehearsal was awesome. Yes, it was. <laughs> it was. Uh, I, I had a sore throat, so I couldn't sing properly. But if you had that, you were still on top of your voice. <laughs> <laughs> really? I thought people would notice, so. No, mm. I was actually paying attention. You, you were? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> I thought you would notice. <laughs> Sorry. Um, hey. um, but I just want. That's not right. Um, didn't you see I almost fell? Sorry, I was actually trying to hold on to something so I don't fall. Um, next time, just hold on to my hand. Thank you, Sister Choma. Um, Sister Choma, the truth is, I'm not really the kind of person who holds grudge. So I'm just going to speak my mind. Okay. Honestly, I feel offended. Yes, you probably you felt by touching your waist was inappropriate. But the truth is, I would never disrespect you for any reason. The Bible says in the book of First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 3, that it is the will of God for your sanctification, that you abstain from every form of sexual immorality. I hold that particular verse so dear to my heart. And I want to stay undefiled till my wedding night. Um, I'm sorry for making such assumption. Listen, Sister Choma, I am not like the other men. Please don't judge me like that. Okay? Can I hug you now? A brotherly hug. Okay? Come here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you see, it wasn't that difficult, was it? No. I'm, I'm really sorry about that. I know it's okay. You're forgiven. <laughs> <laughs> You're forgiven, okay? Okay. <laughs> Sister Chioma. Hello, dear. Oh, hi, Mom. I want to discuss something very important with you. Okay. You know, women travel fast, and one has gotten to your father's ears. You and Desmond seem to be hanging around lately together. People have mentioned that they've seen the both of you after choir rehearsals. I, 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 can, ex I can explain, Mom. It's nothing serious. We are just friends. Let me finish. You are no longer a child, Shoma. You will soon be 24 years old. Your father and I are just impressed that you've gone for a God-fearing man. And Desmond has been of immense help to the choir department ever since he joined last year. The church choir has grown so much. I understand, Mom. But honestly, nothing is happening between us. Desmond is very God-fearing, and he insists on speaking to Dad and getting his permission before we begin anything serious. Fantastic. All right, I'll see you later. Let me leave you, okay? Sure. Okay. okay. I, hi. I've been calling you. Wow, uh, have you taken medication? <sighs> Sorry, but what about brother George? I thought you two lived together. I, I can't. It's late already and you know my parents won't let me leave the house at this time. 
Well, that's because she's my cousin and she lives at the next street. Are you asking me to lie to my parents? I can't do that. Uh, no, don't, don't say that. Nothing will happen to you, okay? Look, can you just wait till tomorrow? I promise I'll come see you first thing in the morning. Please. So I rushed to his house the next day. I was so much in a hurry that I forgot to tell my parents where I was going to. But when I got there, a surprise was waiting for me. Hey! How are you? What's going on here? And you don't look sick. <laughs> but I am. You don't look it. Um, Choma, I'm actually sick from missing you. <laughs> yeah. But we saw on Sunday. <laughs> You're right, but from Sunday to Thursday is actually a long time for me. <laughs> so, here, come, sit. Uh -huh. <sighs> is this like a date or something? I've not been to one before. Okay, I understand. Just sit and make yourself comfortable. Back from his night shift. So, tell me, what do you think about this upcoming choir competition? Hmm. I just want us to win. Honestly, <laughs> I want us to win. <laughs> and to me, I believe we're going to win. Mm. Having someone as beautiful as you are, <laughs> handling the microphone and all that. No, 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 it's not a beauty <laughs> competition. This has to do with boys, please. Anyways, I'm actually glad you're mm. here. Why are you not drinking juice? Oh, I'm actually on a no sugar diet. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I can <laughs> never. Mm. I love my soda and juice, please. <laughs> that is why you have the one you love. And I have the one I love. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually nice having you around. Thank you for you deceiving me. <laughs> I knew there was anything I was going to bring you to this place. So, I'm sorry, but I'm not regretting it.
terrible. Mommy, you just... What did you do to me? What did you do to me, Desmond? You're no longer a child. At least by now you should have figured out what happened. I knew you would be a virgin. You were so sweet. I couldn't just get enough of you. Go and punish you! Go and punish you! Go and punish you! Why are you doing this to me? Why? Could you just put your voice down, please? You're disturbing the neighborhood. Why are you doing this to me? That guy is a monster. He deserves to be locked up with the key thrown into an ocean. But how did you end up getting married to your rapist? She got pregnant. My parents were very disappointed. I explained everything that happened to them. And my father blamed me instead. Smart. <laughs> he was more worried about the shame a pregnant or married daughter would bring to him. <laughs> Jama, you've been carrying this sad piece for four weeks now. What's going on? Nothing, Mom. Nothing. How's the fever? I'm feeling better, Mommy. Dr. Chukuma took my blood sample. He said he will call when the result is ready. That's good. Daddy, aren't you going to find out how your baby's health is doing? No, there's no cause for that. I already laid hands on her. She's fine. It's you. Amen. Daddy, Dr. Chukuma is here to see you. Okay. Tell him I will be with him shortly. Okay, sir. Your mood swings, your vomiting, you're disgusted by your best food. I am going to ask you once have you had anything immoral to do with any man? Useless child! Me. You think you can disgrace me? Calm oh, down. have a look. Okay. Come down for what? Have a look at this. I told you not to spare the rod and spoil the child. But you wouldn't listen. Now, this is it. This is it. This is it. Just have a look. I told you, Evening. I want you to be hard on this girl. But you wouldn't listen. You think you can disgrace me? Oh my God. This idiot has reared me. Shama, I raised you better than this. How did this happen? I didn't mean to 
for his rent, his allowance, and he would promote this monster in Deacon and give him a job. What manner of nonsense is that? I didn't have a choice. I was married off to a man who raped and defiled me. My parents made me believe it was the right thing to do. So the father preferred to watch you suffer rather than to smear his name? You don't know the kind of person my father is. He values his name more than everything else. Including his wife and child. I'm sorry. But that's not how a father should behave. I brought it upon myself. Everything that is happening to me, I brought it upon myself. No. Mama, no. I shouldn't have gone to his place. Shama, it's not your fault. Okay? It's not. I'm so sorry about the baby. But maybe this is a way for you to get your life back. Without a baby, your father can take you back. You don't know my father. I am married to Desmond. And my father, Bishop Onoha, would never allow me divorce. It would stain his name. I am stuck in this marriage forever. You mean your father is Bishop Onoha?
Ma, what is this for? It's been five days with no news about the whereabouts of my daughter. I called Ashley and she said she hasn't spoken to her since the wedding. Meaning that you lied to me. Since you won't tell me where my daughter is or what you've done to her, maybe you explain to the police. Take him away. He hasn't got into this. Officer, young man, you're under arrest. Officer have not done anything wrong. Ma. Move. I did the right thing. You did the right thing? Our daughter has been missing for five days. And I arrested the man that we both know is an abusive man. Only for you to call the commissioner to release him. Evelyn, we have gone to the press. The police is actively involved in the case. Arresting Desmond will amount to staring calm waters. And people will begin to ask questions. They will want to know why we arrested our son-in-law. I am not caught out for that kind of scandal. No, not at all. I Perhaps you want one of those press boys to dig and begin to find out that there is actually something we're hiding. Is that what you want? I cannot believe that even at this point, all you care about is your reputation. Of course, that is all I care about. My hard-earned reputation. I suffered for it. I am a man of God, a fatherly figure in the society, a voice of reason to men and women. Listen to me, Evelyn. I cannot afford such a monumental scandal. I cannot. I am so ashamed for helping to aid and abet all your crimes. I am so ashamed that we are going to even marry our daughter to that monster, that rapist. All because of your precious reputation. I am so ashamed that our daughter ran to us for help, for refuge. But we sent her back to that abuser of a man all because of your stinking reputation. Evelyn, stop. Stop. Do you want the neighbors to hear you? Get out with the neighbors. Seven days. I give you seven days if I do not find my daughter. You have two scandals on your hands. I will let the whole world know how we felt as parents. I will also walk out of this door and never return. Come in. Each time she asks me if I knew what happened to you, I had to tell her the truth. Protect your own daughter that was raped. 
for marrying her off to her own rapist? Forcing her to stay in an unhealthy marriage? Which? I have no excuse. I know. I've been a very, very bad mother. And I'm sorry. I left your father. You left him. I couldn't continue with a man who was the church and society ahead of his family. I am not going back to Desmond. I will not go back to him whether you or dad likes it or not. You wouldn't have to worry about that. By the time the police is done dealing with him, he'll be in for a very, very long time. You arrested him? Twice. The first time your father facilitated his release. And with the help of your friend Lillian and the doctor's report, they found out how you lost your baby through physical abuse. So it looks like this one is going to be away behind bars for a long time. of all that has happened your wife leaving you and the trial of your son-in-law which have brought a very disturbing details of how you helped in covering all his crimes the church has lost faith in you also several other young girls have come forward to expose the dirty details of Desmond's molestation if you have taken this case to the authorities and reported it, I am sure several of the girls wouldn't be victims of Desmond. We have consulted all the church members, the Elders Fellowship, SL Women's Fellowship, and they are all saying the same thing. Sir, you need to step down as the head pastor. That was our conclusion. The light is shining But I still feel darkness around me My walls are falling down, down, down Just like a wrecked sheep Pieces lay down deep in the ocean My heart broken into pieces They were torn shred on shred Until there was none left for me I had a choice to make but you took away that one thing that would have saved me I had a path to take, 
You could have let me through